Hey guys, this is Registar again. Um, so, Tokyo Jungle. This game was released about six months ago. Play the hell out of it. It's really good. If you haven't played it already, do so. I've made a video on it when it was first released. But this is going to be a bit of a different subject. Um, as you can see, I've completed the game. I've found all the records. And as of this morning, I have also unlocked all the animals. All of the animals except for the DLC animals and one skin. Which isn't that important anyways. So, I'm proposing a potential idea to do a little bit of an LP of Tokyo Jungle. This was probably one of my Dark Horse Game of the Years of last year. I mean, Journey was technically my Game of the Year, but, you know, Tokyo Jungle... No one saw it coming. It's really good. Um, very simplistic, but there's a surprising amount of strategy. And I just thought, to my, I, I've been playing it a lot, and I consider myself to be quite good at it. I mean, you can never really pre uh, predict anything with this game. It's, a lot of things are randomized. But uh, I have two options for the LP. The first one could be maybe one or two runs of survival mode, which is the game's main mode. A freeform mode. There's a multiplayer, but I can't do it. It's local. So, in survival mode, I, you can vote on whatever animals you want. As you can see, I've here's everyone, except for the DLC animals. Uh... So, in the comments, you can vote on a on an animal. I'm I don't know if I'm going to do one or two. It depends on how they run. I don't know how long it would take to actually do it because a uh, a game could last anywhere between five minutes to about ninety minutes. In my experience, it depends on the species. But you can post in the comments. I I don't have any preference versus carnivore versus herbivore. I I can play both. Actually, my best run was with a gazelle. This gazelle right here. You can see the 18 generations. Most of it was done in one run. Uh, they add up, so I, I didn't actually go on a, a, on a streak of 18 generations. It was actually more like 14. But, um, yeah. So here we have a Pomeranian, as you saw. Very basic carnivore, it's on the box. Seek a deer, the, ba the basic herbivore you start off with. Gazelle. Rabbit. There are many different skins of rabbits that we have. You can kind of basic uh, wild rabbit. Got Dutch. Is that a chinchilla? Is that a pointed? I, I don't know. I can't see the feet. So you got a tan one and you got a blue one. You can also, ma if, it, if it's an animal that does require skins, you can also mention what kind of skin you want. Uh, for gazelles, you have a male and you have a female. The stats are not any different. With the exception of one animal, all skins are the same. You got a chick. I will not play the chick. The chick is terrible. You never play the chick twice. That's what they say. Uh, yeah, the chick is just really hard and as you can probably tell, like you, like pretty much you're a sitting duck until you become a, you become an adult. It's a really annoying mechanic. The lion has it as well. You can see kind of nerf why you, they would want to nerf the lion, but uh, you, there's no excuse for the chick. Let's see, black buck. I've had some luck as the black buck. There's also a male and female. Axis deer, which is very similar to the, those. The cat. Cat's not bad. It's kind of like the Pomeranian. Got a lot of skins. You have the brown and white tabby. A calico. But all animals kind of default to male. Though we have though this calico... Well, the thing is, calicos in real life are almost always female. While the males are always sterile. But I don't know. So you got like a dark gray tabby, I guess. A little mottled color. I can't quite tell. Got an orange tabby, and 
Is that a pointed or just a silver? I don't know. So we've got a piggy. Uh, sheep. I actually just played the sheep. Not bad. Goat. Boar. The boar is actually one of the more aggressive herbivores in here. They'll actually attack you without... Even if you're not hunting them. All other animals will run away, but boars will usually stand their ground. And they're fucking annoying like that. Porcupine, surprisingly not as epic as you would think. They're just really slow. They can't toss... They can't swing their... They can't give quills. Which is irritating. Ostrich, very fast, but pretty otherwise useless. The moa, which is a lot similar to the ostrich, except better. The moo moo cow, the only animal that defaults to female. Really slow, I would rather not to play the moo moo cow. Same goes for the buffalo, they're kind of similar, except one's geared more for a hunger, while the other one's more of a tank. Hippo is kind of similar, a really slow tank, I would rather not play the hippo. Okay, tiger. This is pr this is actually the longest one of the longest runs I've had with the carnivore was with the tiger. I think the 18 generations was with most no 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 it wasn't but uh, about more than half of it was in one generation. I mean one playthrough. Sorry. The lion. The lions has a lot of different skins as you can tell. I didn't unlock this one, but this one is pretty much the same as this one. So whatever. Uh, we have the lioness, which is the only skin that is different from the male counterparts, though not significantly. I prefer to play as a lioness, but you can do any of the skin, like brown mane or uh, black mane, I guess. Or would that be black mane? I don't know. Uh, hyena, which is very much like the following dogs here. I know hyenas aren't dogs, but they're pretty much... Uh, they behave like them. We have a dark, we have a brown, and then we have a gray. They're both the same. We have the woof woof, the African wild dog, or the licon. That's Greek. Uh, jackal, Tosa, the Japanese fighting dog, as you can tell from Silver Fang. A golden Retriever, and we have a Beagle. Chimpanzee I played for the first time yesterday. It sucks so much. Nine Generations was actually in one run until basically a panther decided to kill everyone. Let's see, bear, very slow tank like enemy. Polar bear, which is pretty similar. Uh, thoroughbred, there's two skins for it. We have the chest, the brown, possibly a chestnut, I can't tell because of the shading, and the, the gray, zebra, which is very similar to this. Actually, yeah, thoroughbred slightly better. The elephant, another tank-like enemy, uh, li another tank-like herbivore. This is all in one run. I never played the mammoth before, but as you can tell, it's pretty much like a better elephant. I actually just unlocked that today, after I finished with the sheep. Cheetah, very fast, but very frail. Then you have the panther, which is very similar to it. Panthers always have a ha tendency of fucking up my playthroughs. And these ones, while they do are, while they are present in the game, I can't play them. You got the Nile crocodile, the giraffe. Uh, kangaroos are actually pretty badass in this game. Shame if I was to pay for one animal, it would be for this one. Got the fat cat, which is pretty similar to the uh, bigger cat, to, to the uh, regular cat, except they only come in one color. Got the silky terrier, which is a lot like the pomeranian. Uh, just going to wrap up over here. We have the cream and the black pomeranian. I don't know why they're so different in stats. I don't know. We got the businessman and the Homo erectus down here. Sabertooth cat, panda. I will not be paying for any DLC, by the way. Uh, you have the two dinosaurs here. You have the Dinonychus and the Dilophosaurus. Dinosaurs will always appear around six, 
around uh, 60 years, though sometimes they appear a little earlier. This one, it's it's surprisingly sucky playing as the dinosaurs. You expect they'll be all badass, and while they are certainly badass, I had a run, my first run with the Dilophosaurus, I died at the first generation because the Pomeranian has a default hunger bar of around 30 or so. Dilophosaurus is five! So you have to pretty much have like an IV drip of KFC going constantly in order for them to survive. It's really obnoxious. It's a really bad trade-off to be something that big. I can't even remember what killed me. What killed me? Oh, hold on. And we have the two ERC dogs. These dogs can only be unlocked after defeating this, the story campaign. Uh, this, these are all, these two are also the only animals that can't reproduce. So you have to pretty much do everything in one generation with one animal. Though they're they're pretty good at keep taking care of themselves. They can actually take down dinosaurs with relative ease. Let's see the ERC two thousand. Then this is your player ca character in story mode ERC 003. I actually played as this one last night. Went quite well, except a Dinonychus one hit KO'd me because I got stun locked. Anyways. Uh, these are very tank-like. They're very... They attack... Their attacks are very strong. They can survive a lot of punishment, a lot of hunger. I really enjoy playing as this one right here. Um, actually, I almost completed all the challenges, too. Uh, th this is another ERC dog, but it's a, it's a DLC one. All DLC is like a dollar, I think dollar each for per animal. Yeah. So these are all the animals. You can pick whichever one you want. I will I'll be doing the most popular one. And the You can suggest maybe one carnivore, one herbivore. If there's a skin, please specify. If not, I'll just do which one I like best. Now the other option I could do for this LP is to you do the story mode. This will have a lot more structure. And I've unlocked all the story modes. There's 13 chapters. Some of them are really short. The first three the first few for sure are kind of like tutorials. Like this one, well, this one technically is the tutorial, but these three are kind of like the extended extended tutorial. They all kind of follow the same plot, though they the plot's actually kind of shitty, and it actually kind of rips off the Lion King. Uh, there's two missions that I absolutely detest, and it'll probably take me an hour. Other than that, they're pretty short. They're not that difficult. Uh, this one is actually... There's actually uh, two endings to this game, with ERC-003 here. One is significantly less shit than the other one. It's actually kind of epic. So, I w so the other option would be to play all 13 chapters. I will skip the tutorial, of course. We'll start here with this little Pomeranian here, and then end with ERC-003. This... Yeah, on average, they'll probably take about 10 minutes each. The one would could probably be, 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 be beaten in less than, less than 5. If you played this game, then you know which one I'm talking about. It's really lame. So just let me know if you want survival mode or story mode. And if you want to do survival mode, please tell me which animals you want. I don't know when I'm going to be starting this, but I will be doing it whenever I have the chance. Probably not in, probably not in March, maybe April or May, depending on how my job situation is and my uh, AMV situation. Because I do have a lot of plans for other videos. So I'm just going to kind of let this sit around and... Uh, kind of gain some attention, gain some votes. Other than that, I'll see you next time.